Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. On this video, we're doing the quest, Victim of Circumstance. That can be picked up at the community notice board in Cosmo Canyon. So, we're going back to the Cosmo Canyon region. And we're fast traveling right here. Hey, welcome to Cosmo Canyon. May the blessings of the planet be upon you all, friends of Nanaki. I don't know what it is, but we've seen a lot more tourists lately. I just hope they don't cause any trouble. A lot more tourists lately, huh? Yeah, does they have anything new to say? That means the survey team should be able to start doing their rounds again. Thanks. Uh, that's just the end of the last quest. Sounds like Nanaki Iron. All right, anyways, to the community notice board outside the inn. This might be the only one that's not located outside of a bar. I mean, there's a bar in the inn, but all the others are directly connected to a bar. And there is a bar here in Cosmo Canyon, so interesting they didn't put the notice board there. Victim of Circumstance. The client is Hard Luck Traveler. Location, Cosmo Canyon, Canyon Basin. Was headed to the airstrip when I had a run-in with one hell of a fiend. Led it on a merry chase until my baby's engine gave up the ghost, and now I'm stranded here. I can fix her, but so long as that bastard's still around, I doubt I'll get far regardless. If anyone can come and bail me out, I'd be in your debt. We'll take the job. So, taking a look at our map. It's not too far away, right there. Uh, I guess we could fast travel to the tower. That's probably the closest location. We'll go there on Chocobo. Okay, and this way. Let's beat up these ski ski. Take this ski ski. Hey, red hit level 47, nice. Okay, here we are. Yoo-hoo down there. Looks to me like you could use some help. What are you doing here? <laughs> it's good to see you too, Yuffie. And who's this? Oh, this is TJ. He was Avalanche HQ's uh, guy on the ground. Informant? Right. And these are my helpless yet lovable minions. It really is a small world. Hmm? You say something? Nope. Just glad you're okay. The fall of the plate, we will ask about it. I'll be honest, when I first caught wind of Shinra's plan to drop the Sector 7 plate, I was pretty skeptical. But after you and I parted ways, I told HQ about everything I'd heard, and went around making sure my friends got out in time. And most of them did, but not all. So many lives I could have saved. I'll never forget the sight of the plate crashing down. Gonna haunt me forever. The SRC. I take it you tuned into Colonel Lodbrock's speech. It makes me proud to see folks finally banding together against that piece of shit company. Wu Tai is gonna be at the heart of this fight, and I'm ready to risk it all to make sure we win. Avalanche HQ. Nayo and them? We were on the run together after we fled Midgar. They decided to stay in Cosmo Canyon. Said they wanted to brush up on their planetology. Though, I don't know how well that'll go for them. All three seemed pretty down. Hopes are okay. Nothing. Actually, since fate has deigned to bring us back together, mind if I ask a favor? You see, I ran afoul of this big old fiend. I put the pedal to the metal trying to escape, and, well, now I'm paying the price. I'm pretty sure the sucker's still around here somewhere. Mind, uh, smoking him out and taking him down? 
A favor, huh? I suppose I could be persuaded, seeing as we are friends. But don't expect me to lift a finger for free. <laughs> Just name your price. <laughs> and you've got yourself a deal. So how do we find this thing? When it's not hunting, it's hiding. So it might be underground. But it should be easy to track down with one of those vibration detectors the Moodles sell at their shop. Well, I'll be. Those monsters have got it all. You mean this? Using the vibro detector, we can finally make use of that thing that we bought. Press up on the D-pad to pull out the vibro detector and scan the area for signs of the fiend below. The greater the vibration, the shorter the vertical gauge will become, meaning you are closing in on the beast's position. Two concentric blue circles will appear when you are approaching the fiend. Red circles will appear when you are straying. Stay on its trail to eventually draw it above ground. That detector ought to point you in the right direction. Just keep your wits about you. I gotta stay here. Get the old girl up and running. Give that worm my regards. I gotta stay here. Give that worm my regards. Okay, so we've got our vibro detector out. You can see the display, and as long as we're going in the correct direction, we'll get blue circles. So let's try going this way. You are approaching the creature's location. So we'll keep going this way. And you can see the vertical bar is slowly descending. So it likes this way. Right, it's getting very low now. Should be getting pretty close. Take out these ski ski. I don't know why I have it out for the ski ski today, but I do. No time to celebrate. All right, detector back out, and we are very close now. The creature stirs deep below your feet. Uh, went away too fast for me to read, but continue searching for it, basically. Uh, so let's try this way, even though it seemed like it went the other way. Pretty sure it went this way. Yep. This is the way that we want. Keep getting the blue circles, this is good. Uh, our vertical bar hasn't really budged much though, so I must be pretty far away. Must be pretty far. Yeah, it's still like up in the red. Now make sure you don't jump off uh, anything, otherwise you'll put your vibro detector away, which is really annoying. So try not to fall off of any, any rocks or anything like that. All right, well, the vertical bar is finally starting to descend a bit, so we're getting pretty close. I believe it's this way. Oh, nope, not this way. All right, perhaps it's this way. We got some rabbits, but I think we already got that treasure. All right, is it over here? No, it's not over here. It must be over here. Once 
again, try not to fall off anything like that. And I guess we'll beat up the Ski Ski. Because we hate Ski Ski. Never in doubt. Alright, we close. Oh, we're very close. Creature has fled, but others have appeared. Take out this new threat and resume your search. Get ready. Oh, interesting. The the parry I did on the spear prevented me from getting grabbed. That was nice. Gonna pray for the group. Barret, you're up. Oh, and it's pressured. I'll smack it with a focus shot. Focus thrust. We'll finish that stagger. Alright, the creature stirs below your feet. Continue following it to lure it out. We're back on the hunt. I believe it went this way. It did indeed. And once again, that vertical bar is hardly budging, so it's nowhere near here. It ran far away. Doesn't seem like much of a threat if it's so easy to spook. Seems like ZJ could just, you know, work on his car and then drive away and he'd be fine. But either way, we should take care of it if it's randomly attacking people. I believe it's this way. Once again, don't jump off of anything, otherwise you gotta pull it out again. So I think it's right over here. And our vertical bar is getting pretty low. Perhaps over here. What? Where is he? He should be like right here. Oh, there he is. I tried to sneak attack me, did not work, but it worked on Red and Barret. Uh, let's go ahead and assess it. Oh, I can't assess it yet. We gotta wait for it to land. Now we can assess. It's a Giga Worm. A surprisingly swift segmented worm found in arid environments. The rocks it swallows double as a digestive aid and a handy projectile to use against enemies. Crippling its stomach after it swallows a rock will pressure it, and it's weak to ice. And just like other worms, it will try to swallow us. So be ready for that. Braver! Oh, he interrupted it. What a joke. Actually, let's switch to Barret so he can do an overcharge. Oh, and he's going to do a swallow. Dodged it! Vengeance mode! May as well haste the group. And Cloud, you're back up. And Chastar, so this is where we can attack the stomach. Or maybe. Yep, we can attack the stomach. Let's do a braver on the stomach. We'll have Barret. Maximum Fury on it. 
And let's see if Red can help as well. Right, we're just gonna get the stagger on him. Oh, too slow. He tried to swallow me and he was successful. Dang it. He got Red. But he spits him out immediately. And now he's dead. Penalties. Oh. Quite a performance. I'm impressed. As you should be. So, where are you off to now? Unfortunately, Shinra's been making moves to push back against the resistance effort. Once they tighten up the borders, travel's gonna get tough. So, I've decided to head for Wutai while I can. You're going home too, aren't you? No, not yet. I can't. Not until I've gathered lots and lots of powerful materia. I see. Well, try to stay out of trouble. That goes for the rest of you as well. You hear? You're bound to get caught up in the SRC's business at some point or another. Better be prepared. Right. I see in you. Good luck out there. See you back in Wutai! Alright, our quest is complete, and he gave us some magnify materia. That is nice. Uh, the question is, what are we going to do with said Magnify Materia? I mean, we could just give Yuffie group healing, which might be the way to go. Or we could do something like a group haste, but we already have that with red. So that's covered at least in some group compositions. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll give it to Yuffie. Let's see. What could we potentially drop? I like everything she has currently. She does have the magic up materia. I don't know if she necessarily needs that, but I don't know who else would take it. I don't know. Maybe we'll give Barrett like group haste or something. He has time materia right now. With warding, we could give a magnify instead. We could drop his luck up. Yeah, why don't we give Barrett group haste? I mean, he's really good at gaining ATB, too, so he can haste the group, like, right away. Uh, so, yeah, we can drop luck up. We'll move the time materia, or we'll move the warding materia to the side just to have it leveling. Unless we could put it up here with something. I assume warding doesn't work with barrier, or does it? No, that wouldn't make any sense. Uh, but anyways, let's throw the magnify in here, and we can worry about the specifics of his materia situation later. But just having the warding materia leveling is good. And that seems good. Although somebody's, um, subversion materia just leveled up. Kate Sith's. We could drop this. He wouldn't have protection against instant death anymore, but that's not the end of the world. Yeah, maybe we could do that and give him barrier. We could also do magnify barrier. That's another option. Or like magnify bravery might be very interesting. Uh, let's see. We'll give him the barrier. We haven't been using it. So then we can bring warding back up. Move that over there, and then we can have Barrett be warded against, oh, I don't know, maybe just poison. Or petrify, oh, let's do petrify. He's warded against petrify. All right, and then Kate Sith drops a version, give him barrier. Wherever it's hiding. And uh, we'll ward him against time to get some use out of that. So he can't be slowed anymore. All right. All that looks good to me. Oh, his fire material is maxed, but I do want him to have some magic. So 
that works. Alrighty. So, with that done, we did get a new combat challenge. Let's head back to Cosmo Canyon and knock that out. Hey, welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Like what happened? Did you see that boat? So heading back to Chadley. And then after we complete this, I think we only have two more combat challenges to unlock. Thanks to your efforts, this area has been fully surveyed. And yet, this is only the beginning of our adventures together. I'm excited to see what knowledge awaits us elsewhere. All right, so we have Cosmo Canyon Region Intel Level 2. A series of three-person battles in which you pick your team, engage in simulated combat against fiends who have lived on the planet since before recorded history. And this will give rank three MP up material. Not bad. Our team for this will go Cloud Barrett and Aerith. Alright, right away we're against an Irasaurus, and they are weak to lightning, and we're going to have to use spells because he's got the shell up at the bot. But we'll gain some ATB with Ferret, so then he can do haste on the group. He can also do group slow, which is nice. But haste the group. Alright, and then Aerith needs some ATB, and she has an 8 of fireball. I thought I got the Tempest off, apparently not. At least a little early, there we go. Alright, now we can drop Arcane Ward. Right, try to bulldozer me, we'll just block that. Jeez, even blocking it did a lot of damage. Uh, let's have Barret do Lifesaver. Aerith, you do Thundara. Double cast. Oh, he's doing concentrate already. I don't know if we're gonna be able to stop that. Cloud, do a braver. We'll have Aerith do a. Actually, let's wait for him to put it back up. All right, now let's back up. We'll do a soul drain, and Cloud can do another braver potentially. Yep, another braver. There we go. We knocked him out of it. He's got. No more shell. He's putting up a spirit shield. Now he's immune to magic. Brace yourself. Go Faraga at four Aerith. She'll be a threat, probably. We got the stagger and should be able to finish him easy. You ain't gonna get away. I just realized that haste did not last long. Probably probably because of uh, Barret's magic stats. And the magnify materia is weak, so that's gonna reduce the duration pretty significantly too. So maybe it's not worth it until it's leveled up. I don't know. Either way, we got a new enemy, a Gigantar. We'll assess. Allow me. Botanical fiends of the succulent variety. Mainly found in arid regions, these specimens grew to gargantuan sizes thanks to an abundance of fresh water at nearby oases. They jiggle their curly mustaches as they sprint and bound abound the sound. Abound... Jeez. <laughs> they jiggle their curly mustaches as they sprint and bound around the sa sands. There we go. I don't know why that sentence was tripping me up. Automatically becomes pressured while unleashing needle rain. Note that this attack also increases the potency of its 1,000 needles. Get ready. Now we're doing 1,000 needles. Ow, I'm still hit. Oh, what a jerk. Alright, see if we can land a braver. Don't overdo it. Barrett, you're up. Charge! I don't want to be charged. Hey, get away from me. All right, let's do bonus round. Oh, and he's pressured. Focus shot. Cloud, maybe you can get a focus thrust in. 
And we got the stagger. It should be all over. Soul drain from Aerith. Hurry. It's all over. Moving on then. All right, next up, we're up against a mystic dragon. With fireballing. Here we go. Shit. I bet you're up. Bonus round. Right, Aerith, you're up. Tempest for our Mystic Dragon friend. Drop the Arcane Ward. And we'll double cast Aurora. Right, that pressured him, and Barrett should be able to finish that off easy. Cloud's ready to pounce. Affinity's in. Barrett, you're back up. Not quite gonna get it on the stagger, but it's basically dead. All done. We have White Moose and these Amalgams. Remember, you want to finish them off with fire or they'll reanimate, which is not the worst thing in the world, but may as well finish them off with fire. We got Fireball Blade. Oh, and I put them both on fire. Perfect. All right, they're gone. That was easy. We are staggering him surprisingly quick. Bonus round. And I suppose we could haste the group. I want to see how long this lasts, too. It actually lasts a decent amount of time. It's not too bad. Uh, let's have Aerith drop the Arcane Ward. And double cast Fire, I suppose. Cloud, I don't know if he's gonna have enough time for Infinity's End, but maybe. Let's try it. Yeah, you got it. Ooh, strength up material improved. Wonderful. And our final round is an easy one. They're having us. Face a Reaper Tail. I suppose we could haste the group again. Aerith, hit it with Blizzara. It's pressured. We'll do an ATB boost. Press. Not really that. Focus us. Ferret, yeah, you're up. Focus shot. No, I thought I could boost. I can't. That's okay. Go back to Barret. He can overcharge. Maximum fury and Aerith. Finish him off with the soul drain if you can. There you go. All right, that took three minutes and 58 seconds. We got our rank three MP up material.
And as I said before, we only have two challenges left to unlock. I gather from your expression that you're eager for more. Needless to say, many hazards await you on the road, so take care. Alright, so let's see if that MP up materia is better than one that somebody has equipped. It probably is. Red has rank 3. K Sith has rank 1. Ew. Alright, we'll do that. And actually, oh, never mind. Yeah, why is that one so low? I must have got it recently. K Sith gets rank 3. Okay, and then one other thing we need to do while we're here is buy the armor for this region and then upgrade it for our transmutation experience. I don't think I'm actually going to use that armor, but maybe. I guess we'll find out. Let's see. We want to go here. Hmm. Well, I've seen worse. Congrats. You're welcome to shop here. Alright, so we got the Road Warrior Bangle, 4 Materia Slots, 53 Physical Defense, 25 Magic. It's Grade 9, a stylish silver and leather bangle for bikers born to live free or die. Available for purchase in the Cosmo Canyon region. We'll get one of those. And the Snail Shell Bracelet. Also 4 Materia Slots, 2 linked, so was that one. 25 Physical Defense with 53 Magic, so flipped from the other. Grade 9, an unassuming yet beautiful bracelet fashioned from shells unearthed in old ruins. Available for purchase in the Cosmo Canyon region. So we got both of those. Better watch how you wield those things now. And to our item transmuter. And let's see if there's anything new we can make. Dry ether, we need astral remnant. Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil armlet. We still need four divine heartwood. Should be able to get that soon. And here we go. We got our upgrades. So enhanced road warrior bangle gets it to 56 physical defense and 26 magic. Enhanced grade nine, a revised rendition of the road warrior bangle. That'll be 15 exquisite beast hides. And then enhanced snail shell bracelet, 26 physical defense and 56 magic. Enhanced Grade 9, a refined variant of the Snail Shell Bracelet, and that'll be 15 Exquisite Beast Spines. And then all that we have left for enhancements is the Yggdrasil Armlet, which we still haven't crafted. Accessories, I believe we've made them all. We have. Accessory upgrades, we're good, and key items. So yeah, there's not much left. We got the Dry Aether, the Yggdrasil Armlet, and the upgrade to it. And that's it. And we've done everything currently available. And may as well see if that's an upgrade for anyone. I kind of doubt it. Definitely not in terms of materia slots. No. No, we'll keep what we have. Alrighty, so with that... We are all done here. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.